My name is James Hagerty. I'm from Whitechurch in County Cork. I'm farming with my two brothers and my mother and father. It's a mainly tillage farm. We're producing barley, wheat, oats, oilseed rape and beans. Fertiliser is really important. It's, it's vital on our farm to produce sustainable yields of cereals. Um, we've been through a very difficult period. Uh, first of all with the pandemic and now with the war in Ukraine. Um, prices have skyrocketed for, for fertilizers. Um, we're looking at increases threefold, fourfold, based on what we were paying historically. Um, we predominantly use liquid fertilizer now. This past season, we got enough fertilizer, but supply was always a concern. For our 2023 uh, planting campaign, we have a lot of difficult choices to make we will be looking at probably reduced fertiliser use because of costs and the risk associated, uh, probably cutting out crops that are heavy users of fertiliser, probably growing less wheat, maybe looking more at spring crops, trying to reduce the, the risk that we're going to be exposed to. From a consumer point of view, um, if all my fellow farmers across Europe are going to be making similar decisions, we are going to be producing less cereals it's going to have serious implications and it is all stemming from the price of fertilizers to European farmers. What the Commission could do is reduce the anti-dumping tariffs. They make no sense in the current environment. We need more competition in the European fertilizer market. Major European fertilizer manufacturers have made record profits. If these tariffs are removed, it will lead to lower fertilizer prices. It will see increased competition. Prices are at historic levels. We cannot stay in business with these fertilizer prices.